Hi, this is Ray Bear, the Blaster Master. We're going to do a video in three parts on how to install the electronics light and sound kit into the E11 Blaster. Uh, I've done a schematic that will be included now with the kit. It shows the three modules that we'll be making. The three modules of the electronic light and sound kit uh, are the LED module, or the light module, the switch module, that's probably the most complicated one, and the sound module. And we're going to start with the, uh, the sound module. Okay. These are the sound cards, the way that you'll get them in the kit. And when you push this red button, the light lights up. That's supposed to be telling you you're recording. But the, these connections are notoriously bad. They, they don't work very well. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take the battery pack that come in the kit and I'm going to include an additional connector now in the kits. So I'm going to take this and solder it right to my power supply to give me a power supply. Alright, now the wires should already be stripped, so first I'm going to tin these wires. Alright, now take just a little piece of the heat shrink tubing. Alright, so I'm going to solder the uh, positive on the left or and then the negative on the right. Then we'll take care of our heat shrink. source to be able to uh, bench test the rest of your components when you put it together. Alright, so we're going to take our two sound cards and you're going to leave all this stuff attached and you're just going to pop your batteries out. Alright, so if you take the board and you see these little tabs, just bend these back a little bit. We're going to unsolder these four connections to get that board apart. Okay, here's the, the pieces that you're going to discard, the batteries and the pieces that held them in. Alright, All right, so you'll have two cards that look like this. The disc in the center is the negative and all we need is a little dab of solder right in the middle there. You know, to get hot. And then you put a little right bit there. Side. We'll put a little more side of there too. All right, now we'll one take of our male connectors, and I'm actually I'm going to cut this so the wires come out even. Black one up there, so I'm just going to snip a little bit off of there. Now we're going to put the negative right there. That's all it takes. And we'll put the positive right there. There you go. If we plug our power source in with our buttons still connected, when we hold the red one, we hear a beep and we see the light. That means it's recording. 
when you hear the double beep, that means it's recorded. You hit the yellow. Right there. It, I know it sounds like crap, but it's going to sound better later, believe me. Once you put this thing in the echo chamber, watch this. Okay, right there is where the speaker goes. See, quite a bit louder. ahead and record our sounds on here uh, I wanted to show you something that metal piece on the back one here came off before I even unsoldered it and you can see it took the whole connection with it so I'm gonna use it doesn't matter as long as you use the negative on one and the positive on the other so I'm gonna use the negative on the back one this time and the positive here on the front one there you go. Right. Okay, now I'm going to take both of these uh, boards, sound boards, over to my PC, and I'm going to play the songs, <laughs> and we're going to hold it as we play the sound for the blaster. One for the blaster uh, kill setting, and one for the stun setting. Okay, now I've uh, got my power supply. I'm going to verify for you that uh, all the sounds are so now that loaded. We know that that's recorded good on both of the cards. So you can take your uh, microphone and snip it off. Throw that away unless you got another project to use it on. The LED also, you can just snip it. Now this is the record switch, so you don't want to cut both of these wires at the same time because it might act like engaging the switch. So you cut one of these at a time. And the play switch, give yourself a little bit of room because you need to strip those back and connect them. Do this to both of the sound boards and wrap them in electrical tape and then you can wrap them together. Okay, now you can tape these two together. And to preemptively answer all the comments on the subject, all I see on my workbench is tools. Okay, so we're going to take the two speakers and incorporate them into one. You see how this one here has the two center terminals that are nice and exposed? If it doesn't, I'd have to take the glue off a little bit like that. But we're going to go ahead and. All right, now we're going to solder those to the two inside terminals. Once you get them on there, take a little bit of hot glue, make sure they don't come off. Okay, and there's the uh, sound module. Let's make sure we know which one is which here. Let's put power to one. Okay, this one's the kill, so let's go ahead and mark it with red. Okay, that's the one we're wiring. The rest of it will know which one is which. Okay, that's the uh, sound module all done.